Welcome back. We're so glad you're joining us today. Or if it's your first time here, welcome. I'm Shauna, Healthy Foodie Girl. And I'm Ella, Healthy Foodie Girl Mini. And on this channel, we do easy, delicious, and healthy recipes. That we know you're going to love. So you definitely want to stick around because we don't want you to miss a thing. I am truly so excited to share this recipe with you. It is a healthier version of a fried Oreo. I absolutely love these warm out of the oven and I'm sure you will too. They are chocolatey, gooey, and delicious and topped with powdered sugar, not to be missed. We've lightened up this fried Oreo and we know you're going to love it. First, we start with a fourth of a cup of Kodiak cakes. It's a high protein pancake baking mix. If you don't have that, something else will work as well, but I really love Kodiak cakes in this recipe. Now you're going to mix the Kodiak cakes with three tablespoons to three tablespoons and two teaspoons of water. Ideally, you just want to get the mixture right, and right is not too thin and not too thick. Also, don't worry. If it gets too thin, you can always add a little bit more Kodiak cakes into your mixture to thicken it up. To this mixture, we're going to add a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Put that into your mixture and combine thoroughly. I'm adding a little more water to get the consistency that I want to make these cookies. It's about three tablespoons and two teaspoons. As you can see, this is the consistency that you are looking for. Again, if you add too much water, you can always add a little bit more Kodiak cakes into the mix. We have six Oreo cookie thins. Make sure you get the thin cookie thins, not the regular or double stuffed Oreos. Take one of your Oreo cookie thins and put it into your batter. You're going to want to make sure that you cover the Oreo thin entirely with the batter. If there's any that's not covered, you can always push it around with your finger to make sure that it's covered. Place the cookies on a non-stick silicone baking mat and bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 to 14 minutes. Let them slightly cool and dust with two teaspoons of powdered sugar. These are so delicious, warm and gooey, just like a fried Oreo without all of the fat. And I absolutely love them warm out of the oven. This is the ultimate healthy version of the fried Oreo. You can print the recipe on our website at healthyfoodiegirl.com. You're not going to want to miss our double chocolate banana bread muffins or try our high protein strawberry frozen yogurt. Also, we have a delicious carrot cake recipe. All of these recipes can be found from the videos on our channel and you can print them at our website healthyfoodiegirl.com. We really hope you enjoyed this week's video and if you did, give us a thumbs up. And make sure to check out our website, healthyfoodiegirl.com, where you can print the recipe. Absolutely. As well as while you're there, sign up for our email list because we deliver those healthy recipes straight to your inbox every week and we don't want you to miss a thing. Cheers to you. We'll see you next time at Healthy Foodie Girl.